Welcome back. Well, you guys, it's here, that NCAA tournament with those great watch parties coming up. So joining us today to help with brackets and those game day menus is Jamie Sire, former ESPN Sports Center host. Now, you guys, Jamie's also the host of the new Food Network podcast, Food Network Obsessed. And today she's teaming up with KFC to share some of her party tips. Welcome to the show, Jamie. It's great to see you. Vanessa, thank you so much for having me. Excited to be here. Okay, well, help us out. Who do you think, in your opinion, is going to be the big winner over the next couple weeks? Well, Vanessa, I think uh, first and foremost, the big winner is the fans and the players. You think back to last year, uh, we all look forward to the NCAA tournament every March. Got ripped away from us. We haven't had this tournament in two years, so I think. We're all winners just for that, but if you're talking about my overall winner, I do have Gonzaga uh, going all the way. I do have Purdue in my, in my final four, though, so, um, but I'm excited for some good basketball, maybe a few upsets, and definitely some great food courtesy of KFC. Well, you're exactly right. I, I think we all are excited about that for this reason, after everything that happened last year. Um, so the spirit is strong, especially here in Indy. So help us out a little bit more. How do we get a great game watch experience? Uh, that's a great question. I think, number one, you got to have your brackets filled out um, ahead of time, on time. Get them submitted before that first tip off. And I think multiple brackets is always a good idea. It's always more fun when you have somebody to root for going down the stretch. So if you have a couple of different winners, you can kind of hedge your bets. I think multi multiple screens is key, especially in the first weekend when we have so many games, so many staggered starts. You don't want to miss a second of the action. And on that note, I mean, I always end up missing the action because I'm in the kitchen cooking. I love to cook, I love to whip up things. But I, I hate missing yeah. the game, so I think this year I'm really going to lean on KFC to kind of uh, fill out my game day menu, and it's perfect timing because they just launched their new chicken sandwich. It's their best chicken sandwich ever. It's now av available nationwide, and you can get it on the KFC mobile app, which is also convenient because you can have it just delivered right to your home. You don't even have to leave the couch. <laughs> oh, boy. That's a win-win. I love that grub. What are your other favorite game day foods? I mean, I always have fried chicken on the menu, so whether it's the, the new KFC chicken sandwich or their buckets of fried chicken, I think there's always going to be fried chicken on my game day menu. But I think also we got to talk about the sides, and I'm talking about these secret recipe fries, and I have lots of them in front of me. It's uh, making me hungry for sure, but I recommend setting up a french fry bar. I think that's a super fun way to enjoy them because some people like them plain, some people like them with ketchup or ranch dressing or barbecue sauce. You could just order all the dipping sauces from KFC, kind of set them up and, and let people choose which ones they want. Jamie, French fry bar? Why have I never thought about that? That's an ingenious idea. I'm going to do right? it. Right? All right. Well, speaking of picks, okay, I'm please. a confession. I'm almost done filling out my bracket, but not yet. Okay. Do you have any idea of some Cinderella teams or upsets that might happen by you? Okay, I think you always have to keep an eye on those 5-12 matchups. I think almost every single tournament, there's at least one upset in that matchup. I have Winthrop as my uh, upset pick in the first round. I don't remember how far I have them going. I, I feel like you shouldn't have your Cinderella team go too far, um, because if they do lose, then your bracket is a little bit busted. But that's my upset pick. Um, I have a couple other ones. Look at those 7-10 matchups as well. Um, but overall, just... I say go with the chalk. I, I have Gonzaga winning it all. Okay, me too, and I also have Winthrop, so that makes me super happy if I'm oh. on par with you. <laughs> so, so yes, that's good stuff. Awesome. Uh, where can we go for more delicious game time menus? Um, yeah, absolutely. You can go to KFC.com, or like I said, download that brand new mobile app. You have the whole menu at your fingertips, ready for pickup or delivery. Awesome. Thank you so much, Jamie. We appreciate it. We'll put all of this on IndieStyle.tv. Uh, Amber, what I love about KFC, the coleslaw. And then a big bucket of that fried chicken. Ooh, put those together. Yeah, I am with right. you on the French fry bar. I have never done that. Fun. Let's do it. <laughs>